Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to present you my five best new features of Harmony OS. I'm running Harmony OS here on my MatePad Pro but I'm also recording right now with my Mate 30 Pro that is also using Harmony OS. So let's take a look at my five top features of Harmony OS. So here we see my Harmony OS desktop. I configured it a little bit like Emotion UI, as you can see here. And one thing that I forgot to notice or to mention is this is my MatePad Pro that I bought two years ago. So it got the Harmony OS update, but you see that some features like the dog at the, at the bottom is still missing. So I'm guessing it was not having all of the features that were presented by uh, Huawei already. Uh, in the Harmony OS reveal. Anyway, I want to show you some of the features that I think are pretty cool and interesting. Let's go first to the share Wi-Fi info or VLAN info it is called. So here under the uh, Wi-Fi tab or uh, VLAN tab it's called here, WLAN tab, I can go into more settings and I have a new option called share Wi-Fi info and when enabled this allows you to share the Wi-Fi network including the password with other shared devices during multi-screen collaboration. So this is pretty awesome if you have for example a phone that has already a Wi-Fi connection open and you just want to um, do the multi-screen collaboration and your tablet is brand new or something like this it will automatically when you connect both of them connect also via the uh, Wi-Fi. Or you have a brand new phone where you don't have the Wi-Fi information typed in already. Uh, you can just go into a multi-screen collaboration. It will automatically send over the password for the Wi-Fi. So you don't have to like QR codes are also pretty interesting and easy. Uh, if you want to go in your settings, I can click here and I get a nice QR code uh, for logging in. Uh, this is not uh, necessary with this option. So this is tip number one. The other tip is the widget bar. You can go into um, home screen settings I think it is and there you have show widgets bar under icons. This allows you to show a nice little uh, bar under icons that have special features just like for example notepad or gallery. If I go in here and it shows me the last picture that I had if I swipe up. And I can do the same with Notepad and it shows me the five tips that I have here. And uh, the same you can do also with some other things like for example the clock. You can see the clock is in real time showing me my current uh, time and date. And if I swipe up I can get the time and date in Beijing if I want to. So it is pretty cool to have this functionality and it's not, it, it's basically a widget that you have but it's not always there. It's only there if you need it. You can swipe up and see certain information. And this needs to be improved a little bit more I think and some other applications need uh, information for this as well. Calendar has here for example this information and of course you can pin it and make it like a, a full widget on the desktop but I don't like this feature to have it to, to, to use too much space. So I like the swipe up feature. I already liked it on the Blackberry devices when they had uh, Android devices with such a uh, similar feature. Uh, but here it is better integrated and yeah some applications still need this option for uh, the um, new Harmony OS. Most of the applications don't support this uh, right now. Only Harmony OS specific applications or newer applications made by Huawei. Then you have number three, show weather information in calendar events. It's also pretty awesome because if you go into your apps here you have uh, some uh, configuration or app settings. You go into calendar and here we have the option to turn on weather forecast for the calendar events which is also pretty awesome because if you have an appointment for example barbecuing outside with friends. I know in Corona times a little bit harder in some certain locations in the world but in other locations maybe it's possible. Uh, then it would be nice to see the weather forecast for this day as well and see okay it is like a forecast it's it's raining so we have to have a plan B uh, do something else or just move it to another day the day after 
uh, our appointment is uh, supposed to be sunny so we can have this and and this is pretty awesome because it also like gives you then the op opportunity if you have to go for a meeting to know exactly what you have to wear uh, because uh, you know the yeah, temperature and if, if it will rain or not the weather conditions basically so this is tip number three then we have tip number four which is the new media player control so i showed you already the control center if you swipe from the uh, top right down i have uh, now here this media player and i think let's play something uh, in the background i have to start Huawei music i had to reset my tablet because it is i think slightly broken anyway uh, let's play this dream impossible probably won't get any copyright strikes with this and it's not playing anyway you won't hear it because i have my dongle inside here but it's it's playing i'm, I'm doing something else going in the app gallery for example i can swipe down i can see what is playing currently Oops. i can see what is playing currently i can tap on it i can see also if there's another player uh, supporting this i can also see this device is playing now in the wired on the wired earphones but i don't have any earphones attached just one microphone so what i can do is here uh, choose okay instead of the wired earphone i want to hear it on my uh, tablets loudspeaker of course i can pause here i can also like this uh, which is like a special feature of this player i can go and find the lyrics uh, that are now enabled uh, on the home screen on the app itside so if i'm in the app and i should here you can see the lyrics are also there it shows you exactly where where we are so which is also pretty nice so you have the option not only to do this but other players will have the option in the future to integrate here well uh, the other players that are tried out they don't have it right now ah here this is what they meant by on the home screen where you can see here there's now the lyrics on the home screen so this is also a nice feature that you have so you want to s sing along with the song or something like this you can control of course the volume which is also nice but this is really nice that you can choose here uh, on which to play because I literally had the problem when I was cutting videos and had my uh, several different input devices attached to a USB-C dongle that had audio output that every time I plug the dongle in it would automatically switch into the wired earphone of the uh, audio dongle and I would not hear anything and the only workaround on an Android on Emotion R11 was like to attach a Bluetooth adapter then it will show up in a notification where I have the device chooser to choose which device I want and here it is built in I can choose whenever even if nothing is playing let's let's close the close the music player and uh, what we will see is that okay the music player is still here but even if the music player was not here I have the option to choose where my default audio is going through so this is pretty pretty cool to have built into the system uh, globally system-wide and uh, yeah it's working fine so this i really like then tip number five the last tip of my top five tips of harmony as new features is actually i'm cheating a little bit because those four features are new features in a way but this one is not a new feature at least not for the chinese uh, devices if i go in settings and i go into huawei assistant there is the AI touch feature. You might know AI touch feature, AI touch feature from Motion UI, but it is a bit limited. And here it is a lot more powerful. I don't know why only the Chinese version gets the most powerful version here, because in the global version, the only thing that you have is like make a purchase, so you can search for a certain image that is on the screen. Like let's let's go to let's go to this here for example, and I'm I'm on this. I can now hold with my two fingers. And it will go into this AI mode and it will recognize this this uh, uh, sunscreen, sun protecting um, umbrella. And it will then allow me in a shopping mall, in this case on JD.com or Visance, can choose between to search for such an umbrella. You can see it, this, its detection is pretty nice. This is the only one that is currently available on Emotion UI on the global version. But what this has here is a lot more. You can see there's German words in there. If I click here on translation. What I can do is like translate the whole screen and what it does is now takes a uh, takes a while maybe it's translating from uh, German to English I hope 
and then it will translate the whole website. I know the website doesn't make any sense because uh, you have the option uh, to translate it in the web browser itself. But you can see it translated this picture uh, and you can see um, in this case, I think it looks like it translated yeah, it translated into English. So this is uh, working pretty nice. You have also scroll translation if you want to do this. And I use this a lot when translating, for example, Chinese stuff that I cannot read into uh, English to, to, to get to know some certain things. Then there's another feature, feature which is like a text feature in general, AI reader feature where it can try to read. And it's Actual can... Einkaufen Rich Titan in Deinen Markt. So it has like a bit of Chinese accent here, but it is reading this German thing now for me. I can pause it, I can make it quicker, I can jump back, which is also pretty interesting if you want want to read certain things. Uh, yeah, and there's a translate feature, of course, in the browser itself. This is really, really powerful, and I hope, I really wish that at least this translation feature and, of course, text selection in, in images. You, you saw maybe the Apple announcement that they have such a feature. This is long, long integrated in Emotion UI 11 in the Chinese version, and I think it is even better now um, in Harmony OS, and I really, really like uh, to have this uh, later on also in the global version. So please, uh, Huawei, add this translation feature especially. I like this very much, this translation feature. So not only shopping, we are not only thinking about shopping here in Europe or US or wherever you are, probably US not, but in Europe, but we also want to translate certain things. And this is a very, very uh, useful feature. And I hope it will come also in the global version of uh, Harmony US. Otherwise it is at least here in the Chinese version of Harmony OS. And these are my five tips of Harmony OS. Keep in mind, I'm running the Chinese version. So I got tons and tons of question people asking, how can I install it on my device? Um, first of all, it's only a certain limit of devices that are supported right now and mostly Chinese devices. I have bought my MatePad Pro and my Mate 30 Pro in China. So I flew there, I bought it in a shop. Uh, Actually, the MatePad Pro, someone someone had to bring it to me because I was busy uh, going to the airport that day, flying back to Germany. And yeah, uh, anyway, there's there are videos about this, so you can see uh, next time when you want to do this, uh, maybe uh, try to fly to China. No, uh, this is the Chinese device, and uh, it's only working currently with those devices. There are some tricks where you can maybe run it also on. Uh, European or global versions, but I would not recommend it as it is um, changing certain aspects. I can show you one thing, for example, uh, of the of the um, tablet. Uh, I don't even have it here installed. How do I map app? I don't have it. Petal Maps, for example, is not working in China. Uh, and if I start Petal Maps here on this uh, version of Harmony OS, it will uh, it will complain that. Uh, Petal Maps is not there. It will complain that uh, this is not available in my region, despite my region being set to Germany. So that's enough. Uh, first of all, my top five uh, new features of Harmony OS. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some questions, you can write them around the comment section. There will be more Harmony OS uh, videos coming in the future. Um, like, subscribe, and enjoy. Until the next time. Bye.